man, it looks so good. I'm so impressed. <laughs> All right, so we got Robin Shute, Pikes Peak champion here, record holder. Yeah, uh, you just drove the Amira. What do you What do you think about it? Yeah, um, first of all, an absolute honor and a pleasure to go in this car as it, as it rolls away. Um, big fan of Lotus. I've you know, grown up with it all my life, and um, the Amira was something actually a little different. There's some a lot of Lotus in there, and there's some new stuff that's exciting. I would say. Um, Big things that stood out to me to start with was how it steered and how it responded. It was very fast and immediate, uh, also incredibly precise as well. So you know, I think back on old Elises and Exiges, you could feel everything load up and wind up and then the car would, would turn in, whereas this literally was immediate. And it reminded me you know, more of Italian sports cars in that aspect. But what it kept was like the mid-turn adjustability and, and the delicateness of, of the car. So that was really fun, really cool. <laughs> All right, we're here with Roger from Auto Sugar. What do you think of the new Amira? I think it's awesome. I also have one. Uh, I have a really early pre-order slot on one as well. Um, we've got a magma red one with red interior on order. Black wheels, yellow calipers, uh, with the painted roof, so not the black roof. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. <laughs> uh, I was able to come up with the 10% to make the uh, deposit on it. Got to figure out how I'm going to come up with the rest of the 90. And, you know, but I'm, I'm super excited. I've never bought a new, like a brand new car ever before. So it's, you know, and I've just been a Lotus fan forever. Uh, yeah. So it's pretty exciting and pretty fun to, to get to do it. What's your, uh, what's your favorite thing that this has that your Elise is lacking? Well, I think an interior <laughs> is probably it. Because uh, and the Elise is not going anywhere. Because like, there's no way I could get rid of. It. I, I just love it too much. Um, but it's a little bit like for longer trips. My wife doesn't love the Elise, and I like to do long trips in these cars. So I wanted, I wanted a GT car. So for me, this is fantastic. I don't know where a baby will go. Exactly. Uh, maybe in the back shelf. All right. So what, what do you think of the uh, new Amira? Um, I am a big fan of it. Uh, I've ordered two. Two. So I've I've, <laughs> I've deposited one, and and the other is just um, down the road in case there's something special hotter. Uh, but um, I, I'm looking forward to it. I, I went over to Hethel to take a factory tour to choose my color originally because there were no photos of any colors, and I wanted to know which one to get. And then um, I went again when I found out that they have the uh, the driving school over there uses Amiras and spent some time on track, and it's just. It, it, I mean, I've done track stuff. It raised my limit as a driver. It, it, it inspires so much confidence. Um, it, it really feels like it wants to go fast, and and once you're going fast, it's it's just a breeze. And so I, I, I can't wait. That's awesome. So they already have them uh, set up for like in the track school over there. They already have enough yeah. of them to be able to put on a school and everything. The track school, I think, is a, um, like an independent operation there, but they bought four of them. Okay. And they've got cars that have um, tour suspension and sport suspension, so you kind of get a feel of your Wh Which did you order for yours? Sport suspension. On both? Uh, or well, the second you have one is, is just the, a deposit. Okay, yeah, you have uh, The first the one, is, one is locked in, so uh, that's uh, sport suspension. Nice. Goodyear tires, because I was originally taking delivery in winter. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll swap Cup 2s onto it eventually. All right, Adam, yeah, what do you think of the new Amira? It's uh, honestly, photos and videos make it look really good, but in person, it's a, it's a different vehicle. I, I think some vehicles really pull off the photography piece, uh, and this one does that, but in person, totally different car. In particular, the rear end, where the lights come together, down through the, the where the, the uh, exhaust exit and everything, it's, I'm in love. It's, it's a really great looking car. Are you ordering one? <laughs> Let's talk next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. Raul, what did you think of the Amira? It was nice. They had a modern interior, which was, I thought, the best part about it. I used to have an Evora, and it's a significant step up. It was really, really nice. Uh, didn't really get to push it in any way, but tried the acceleration, 
certainly decent power. Suspension was sports suspension. The road wasn't particularly bad, so the suspension felt perfectly fine. I know there have been some people saying that the sports suspension might be too harsh. In my you know, three minutes of driving, it felt totally fine. It seems like an interesting car, so I might actually be going down to put a deposit down. We'll see. All right, Jason. Uh, so you, you have an Amira on order. What, what, how, you saw an Amira down here. What do you think of it? I think it's drop dead gorgeous. I mean, for me, uh, I'm a blue guy, so I was, you know, when I saw the Seneca blue, I thought it looked absolutely amazing. And, you know, I've driven an Avora 400 before, so I figured if, if that's good, I mean, this is going to be even nicer. So, looking forward to the creature comforts, and it's just absolutely stunning. I saw the Amir uh, yesterday and several days around here. It's a gorgeous car. The yellow to me sets it off. I like the bright colors, uh, the tail end has kind of moved into the modern age, but still has the touch of the older Lotus. You can see how much that it's uh, capable and going to continue to be capable like any Lotus. The best thing I loved, it's way easier to get in than one of these cars. 